Within the Detection Dog for Conservation, we are obviously renowned for the use of dogs to help protect wildlife, but we also test and develop different types of methodologies and technologies to enable our ability to find the animals. So at the core of what you do for conservation is first and foremost, you have to be able to detect the animal you're trying to protect. Then you have to try and understand the animal you're trying to protect so that you can you know, develop strategies that are fitted to the animal and the population that you're trying to conserve. Detection dog are just a great method to find all those animals that are quite good at hiding. And a lot of wildlife wants to hide because, you know, that's how they survive. So we have currently four dogs and they all have their kind of superpower. They all have their specialty. Um, we can map koala habitat thanks to two of our dogs. We can find genetics and disease of koala with one of our dogs. And finally, Bear obviously finds the koala themselves and we can help rescue them when they need help. I think that koalas are typical species that are you know, under threat by humans. So obviously habitat loss, habitat fragmentation, habitat degradation. They also deal with an emerging infectious disease, chlamydia, uh, dog attacks, you name it. Koalas are at the forefront of, of what species have to endure. And for population and the species as a whole, each animal that we're able to save enable us to protect the genetic diversity of koala and help them cope better with the future and whatever life is going to throw at them. Technology is at the core of, of our ability to protect wildlife. So we use, for example, drones and thermal imagery to find koalas and koalas glow at night, which is great for us. Uh, we also use GPS tracking devices. We are trialing Bluetooth devices as a way for, for phones and mobile phones in the community to engage with their koalas. Our main focus is research and what we're trying to do is really understand how animals can adapt to um, environmental change like urbanization, bushfire, and climate change. Um, but then also we are really focused on trying to have an applied side because unless you can translate research into an applied outcome for species, then I think that we're failing as scientists. So this is where the rescue comes in. This is where we work closely with state government and undertake environmental impact assessments. And the better we understand how we are impacting animals, the better we can protect them.